Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my monthly installment of the KB Shimmer Birthstone Polish and this month is Emerald. I've started off with Unt Pilaf Face Coat and here is the beautiful KB Shimmer Emerald. I really adore these polishes. And we're going to go in with our first coat of Emerald. And it is just so gorgeous but I have I have a deep deep love for all of the polishes from this KB Shimmer Birthstone collection I use one every month it's normally one of the first manicures I do every month and um, they're just so pretty and so different <clears throat> excuse me now I gotta break out that orange wood stick and do a little bit of cleanup. Or kind of a lot of cleanup, you know. But that's just one coat. It looks pretty good. But I am gonna go in with the second coat because I kind of have a habit of doing that whether it needs it or not. And this polish for it being, you know, so flaky goodness, it really does glide on pretty nice. And I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat to let it dry down, or to get it to dry down. And while I'm thinking about it, I'd like to wish all of my May babies a happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful birthday if you celebrate your birthday in the month of May. Look at that, it's just oh, so pretty. And I'm going to put some of these um, Ciate little like pearl looking beads on them on my nails. I'm going to start off with my ring finger and I thought I might just stick with that but you guys know I can't leave well enough alone. So I'm going to put some, I'm going to start with a big one at the top and I'm going to put some down kind of the center of my nail. I don't have very much luck keeping things straight, so it, it gets a little wonky, but I'm okay with that. And of course that little dripping dipping is not working, so we're just going to put a swipe of it down. Just using that Posh Top Coat as my glue, and I'm using the littler beads down the nail. And they're kind of snaky, squirrely looking, but that's okay. I'm, I, I don't expect perfection when I'm trying to do something like this down the center of my nail. But I'm not going to let it stop me from doing it. Practice makes perfect, right? And I'm going to put one in the center of each of my other nails. Excuse me, I thought that would kind of kind of look all right. I didn't want to stamp over this one, and I remember last year when I wore this polish, I couldn't bring myself to stamp over it either. I don't know why the green one. I just I, it's just I can't stamp over it, or I didn't stamp over it. I didn't do it last year, and I'm not doing it this year. So maybe there is something magical about this one, and I just can't bring myself to do it. So I thought I would just add these little flat back pearl looking beads. And I'm going to, oh and, <laughs> and by the way look I'm telling it myself, I ended up adding more to my accent nails and I'm going to coat them generously with some top coats so that they stay on. I kind of dab it up around the beads and then kind of drag it up and over. And of course I did get real heavy handed with it, so I've made quite the mess. That's what my orange wood stick's for. I broke out the big end this time. I'm going to use the big flat paddle like end to kind of scoop up some of that. And I did do that on my other nails. <laughs> I'm telling on myself. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. And that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching and until next time be good to yourself. 
Talk to you soon. Bye.